Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about 10 of the best things about being a middle-aged woman. Now I know I've spent a lot of time talking about, you know, um, midlife crisis, whether it's a myth or if it's an inevitable kind of experience, or um, I've talked about how aging can change your life, upend your life, or even just kind of uh, shake you up a little bit. Now today I want to focus in on positives and talk about some of the pros of being a midlife woman. So this topic came to me the other night as I was videoing myself doing some dance hall. I was trying to do the TikTok and girl when they say music hits you feel no pain. That's a life of geriatric knees. Let me tell you child. Mm, I couldn't get up. <laughs> So, I'm trying to dodge the lights that oh, on my forehead, but oh, sh today you guys are gonna see the future in my forehead, okay? <laughs> anyway, so you know, getting older can be um, it can be fun if you can look at it the right way, right? So, um, I heard one other creator say that it's like if you're going from elementary school to middle school. That's what midlife is like so if you are going from elementary school you're going to transition you're going to learn new things your body's gonna do new things you're probably gonna start being um, sweaty which is the hot flashes and all them other things so the way how she put it made sense because you don't just get through um, the end of elementary school or get through even just uh, middle school and you're just like okay I'm done I'm into senior um, school now I'm done I'm, I've done my schooling right so that's that's the whole idea that this um, video is built on the the idea that you know you can actually enjoy this time and shouldn't why shouldn't we because like what else are you gonna do would be miserable so the first thing the first thing I like about being um, a middle-aged woman is that you care less legitimately the clip that I would have that I just played I would have never played that I would be so embarrassed to be a Jamaican woman who can dance and be putting it on the you know blue ivy internet and just the disdain that I think I would get from my peers and all this other stuff it would just be too much and I would and I would care I would care so much and you know now I come to realize that the people who really criticize you have probably never tried or more than likely didn't try and they just sit in there in their unknowingness just being all preachy and judgy so it really doesn't matter I think the next thing that I love about being a middle-aged woman is that you come to accept your own company a little bit more. Like you really like to like spending time with yourself. You cherish the time. I remember in my 20s when if my phone was dry, that would stress me out. Now, if my phone is buzzing too much, I, that, that stressed me out. I seek out solitude and I know a lot of women in my age group are saying, no, nah, just let me be. Let me just sleep <laughs> let me just rest you know in my 30s I had a friend group well a, a set of people that I used to hang out with and we used to go to clubs a lot a lot and I remember feeling so old and tired and it was such an effort just being the old rod in the club it just it didn't feel right man the last time I went to a club was when I ended up falling flat on my ass behind some guy was trying to dance with me and he was too drunk and he knocked me down girl so commenting at number four I would say is the wisdom no I know we talk a lot about the mental and the cognitive the decline and that comes with aging and especially for women with all the hormonal you know changes that we experience but um, something that I realize or something that I've been reading up about recently is that the mind resets itself so you go from when you're a child bearer or you're a child rearer you are the nurturer you are giving to everyone and so we sometimes um, struggle to understand the concept that you know you have to put the mask on your face first or you cannot pour from an and from an from an empty cup now at this point you start to focus in on yourself and fill in yourself your needs 
maybe it's the testosterone or the lowered estrogen i'm not sure but you start to focus in more on yourself and give yourself what you need okay so um number five is the sex now for my midlife um friends and peer group my f you know the women in my age group they're having the best sex of their lives. I'm saying they because I've chosen to take a, a spiritual, sexual hiatus just to to get myself, you know, my mind right and make sure that I'm um, my energies are aligned. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff, so I'm gonna skip over it real fast. But um, knowing knowing yourself a little bit more, a little bit better, learning what you are, what you need, what how you connect that makes sex so much better it makes it meaningful and it makes it so much more fulfilling so um i know a lot of my friends who are out here living the best life the best sex life and power to that because hey <laughs> okay so reason number six why i love being a middle-aged woman is that your hobbies come to the forefront now this is important because when you're in the crooks of being a mother or a parent or you know just the things you do in early life you you're so um caught up that you don't have time a lot of times to be creative now when your kids are a little bit older and they don't need you as much now you find yourself with a little bit of time so you can get more creative you want to pay attention because you're paying so much attention to who you are now maybe it's the testosterone the, the selfishness whatever it is you know why am i talking so fast you you now start to pay attention to like the things that you always wanted to do so for me i wanted to do painting and i always wanted to garden and i will you know so you spend more time doing those things. so number seven is that you start curating your friendships which in turn curates your energy your your the people around you influence you a lot and so if you are too afraid or too insecure or too lonely or too afraid of accepting yourself um and your own company then you'll settle for whatever friendships you can get it might be the toxic friend that keeps um hurting you breaking your heart or it might be just the time waster or whatever the case may be when you are in a, a certain age uh, bracket i think when you start start getting that wisdom you just realize you don't want to waste any more time with people who are just sapping your energy and you really truly go out of your way to make sure that you are protecting that okay so reason number eight i why i love being a middle-aged woman is you are compelled should I, should I say you are forced to take care take better care of yourself so hear me out you know that mercury feelings you have in the back of your mouth me me i'm talking to me you know those become a little looser and now because of modern um scientific or dentistry technology you can go in and get them done and um your mouth you can have that gleaming smile you always wanted but more than that you know things are falling apart so you have to do the upkeep if you want to look decent or if you want to be you know it's just there's more required of you you have to pay more attention to yourself you have to hear your inner child but outside you have to hear your your outer core your outer self asking for more okay so the um, point number nine of the ten best things I like about being a midlife woman is oh the amount of time <laughs> imagine it was memory anyway um, the amount of time the amount of time you have to regenerate so what I mean by that is not cell regeneration but more life regeneration so sometimes um we make we create goals and define our success around community goals or our parents goals or other goals or something and now with the kids not being right in your hair or not right by your legs as you're cooking you have time to breathe and to think and to reclaim your life ultimately to decide and design your life 
how you want it and how you want it to be and i think that's amazing Sneeze again. Ah. Okay. Where was I? So point 10 is you, you start feeling a little bit of ease in your life. So you start having a little bit of um, life satisfaction, let's call it that. Where you, because you're getting a little bit more confident, you start accepting who you are. Not so much that you're giving up and you're just like, oh, well, this is how much I can do. But it's more like, okay, I'm, I'm on this path. This is what I've been choosing. This is what, I swear, if this video is twisted to the side, I would be so mad. <laughs> Either way. Um, so, yeah, you start, um, this is what you are. This is who you are. And you start accepting your yourself you know you you start having some self-love and then you start moving towards the goals that are more in tune towards your heart your authentic self and that's a good thing okay so that is the video for today i don't know which um day i'm on honestly i think i'm on day 11 or something um this light is giving me whole entire mega mine and i'm not here for it guys i don't like this video it's i was trying to do something different but it's making me crazy anyway i'm gonna go you know the usual things be safe be good be happy you know at the very least be balanced and Oh, stay away from pollen. It makes you crazy. It makes your... Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Bye. The luxury breathing. But I don't think I'm living. Yeah, my mama be tripping. Saying you...